in Mandeville all these years preaching. Fasting, deliverance, pack house, lots of people. People know me. Love when you call the name Mark Stewart in Mandeville, it just ring out a bell. Popular and known for the fasting deliverance. People, hundreds of people when we let out. Now another man comes to Mandeville. When the people get in scam and them get and when the sickness get where they come to me and say man of God we went there we spend the money um boy da 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 and them begging me please pray for us you understand me this is how Jamaica is them say me no good again the rain for a season go home yeah. Yeah. and if you no go home what happened yeah. now you cause it yeah. This man buy gas put in at the taxi them. Yes, them that's taxi right. And them said, reroute the people them from Mark Stewart to me and we will pay you. And that's what they're doing. Everybody sitting there on TikTok. Take this, my lady, take this, my lady. Chicken. Chicken. Run up and down like a chicken. Never rise again. Drama is brewing between two prominent self-proclaimed prophets, Mark Stewart and Roe, as fierce accusations and a battle for followers take center stage. Stewart, known for his deliverance services, has publicly called out Roe, claiming that his healings are not lasting. He alleges that after paying Roe for healing, many individuals are returning to him with worsening conditions, seeking help once again. When they go there, they're spending 300,000, 200,000, 150,000. When they spend the money and the sickness get worse, you know what they do? They come, come to me you. and come ask me to pray for them. When the people get in scam and them get and when the sickness get worse, they come to me and say, Man of God, we went there, we spend the money. Ah uh, boy, da 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 and them begging me, please pray for us. You understand me? This is Stewart further I claims that Roe is going so far as to buy gas for taxi drivers, instructing them to reroute passengers from Stewart's church to his own. This man buy gas put in at a taxi them. Yes, I nice saw him. And them say, reroute the people them from Mark Stewart to me and we will pay you. And that's what they're doing. Literally, let me tell you how, how corrupt and evil Jamaica is. Taxi men, when people go in the taxi in Mandeville and tell them I want to go to Prophet Mark Stewart Church. Them tell them no. A prophet who are around Mandeville now. Yes. Mark mm -hmm. been done. I just want to forget. And the people have to fight to get the taxi men to take them to break. In a twist, Roe counters that Stewart has even called the police on him, accusing him of criminal activity. And when they set up and pay our police to come to me, and the police them come. The pastor who will set them up, come after. Hey. You see him, you see him high, you know, where you make up nice. Walk up on him by my altar. I take pictures, say, I take over church. You see him high, you know? Forget look at high, you know? Say, me gone now. You see him high, you know? We we'll set them up. Say, me have this and me have gun and me. Say, me gun. And him come down and him take picture and him walk in that church. As tensions rise, many are left to wonder, is Stewart's outrage driven by genuine concern for the people, or could jealousy be fueling his attacks as Roe gains popularity and financial success? Stay tuned on John Phoenix Religious TV as we dive into the unfolding details of this intense religious feud. The man came to Clarendon. Every church was empty. First out. Vassal, this place was jam packed everywhere. There was tars setting up. The place was so that the man who owned the hotel had to say, No, come out of here, you're mashing up my business. The crowd, the people, our fast. I tell you something, you know. Huh? I, I tell you something, you know, Bishop Stewart. The I man, think Jam uh, Jamaicans, Jamaicans have this tendency. I heard when I was growing up, I think I heard my dad with it, or was it my uncle? I heard with it. Say so that Jamaicans will vote for a dunk in a green orange. Yeah. Jam Jamaicans will see a man come from overseas. Yes. And drop you like a hot potato and go to them. And go to that's what uh, that's what I'm telling you. That's what has happened to me. And now I am the bad person. 
Because my bad mind and me this and me no want the man prosper and me no good again and because the man take over, me a complain that. That's what Jamaicans are saying, you know? Right now, you know? Mm. Because this man is raping the people of millions of dollars and they find it good here, you know? But if me open my mouth and say to Jamaican people, give to the church, them say me love money. But they go there and pay the money, you know. Yes. And then come back to me for pray for them and tell me so they don't have none. So my church but, not run with money. But, but me. me. So I'm telling me. you, it's just to show you how the mind of the people are captivated by what is foreign and what is not good. And when you try to guide them to what is good, them say you're wicked. The people go to evil. Yes. That's what's facing me and the real yeah. church in Jamaica. So many pastors, it's not like them no one talk. It's not like them no one come out. But they know the people will turn against them. There are many pastors say, I don't be Max Stewart. Max Stewart can't manage it. Feeling back broad, I don't do them something there. Because they are afraid, because they know the society and many people will turn on them. They have turned on me, you know. There are people who say, listen, that, listen to me, man. Without interruption, here is Prophet Rose's response. <laughs> And him come down and him take picture and he walk in that church. When a prophet of God bind the stronghold into an atmosphere and cast out the hyenas, don't come in there to claim that you're dead. And from him walk on the altar and walk out. Never rise again. Everywhere you got problem take it. And every minute in the pan TikTok, check it, my name, check it, my name. Chicken. Run up and down like a chicken. Never rise again. And they they thought the church would close down. And the church would go and see me. You know what's, what's really get to me? Yeah. One man want to control the 14 parish. Yeah, Every parish he put up something. Why not give some of the pastors a chance to? When I'm going to school, my grandma used to listen to V.T. Williams. Yes. And when V.T. Williams took off his jacket and threw up and crippled people that come out of the wheelchair, V.T. Williams had run Manchester. Yes. And that high, you know, run V.T. Williams from Manchester. In that days, over 30 years, he sent it over. And Prophet Roe come and run him back. In this segment, Prophet Roe highlights his accomplishments and actions for the people, even mentioning building a bar. But when we examine these claims in the light of Holy Scripture, it raises serious questions. By this, and other actions surrounding his ministry, we can discern that his works may not align with the will of Almighty God. Church full pack for years, people not a passport, people not a bird paper, people not a driver's license, people not a job, people not a business, and one pastor make everything. So we divide that, run the idols. Back 
In these times, we are witnessing a rise in false prophets who come to deceive the people with fake healings and wonders. They entice many by promoting the idea that wealth and prosperity are the true blessings of God. While it's clear that God can indeed bless us in our natural lives, we must recognize that these material gains have nothing to do with the salvation of our souls. The true blessings of God lie not in riches but in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of who He is. Genuine blessings lead us to a deeper relationship with our Creator, guiding us toward spiritual fulfillment and eternal life. It is crucial for believers to discern the truth and seek the blessings that truly matter, rather than being swayed by the allure of superficial gains. Let us remember that true prosperity is found in faith, obedience, and a heart aligned with God's purpose.